Hey everyone, I wanted to put together um, a list of actually seven, it's not a round number, I don't have five, I don't have ten. These are my top seven items that I've been using all summer. We're starting to get ready to go back to school, but there's still about a month of summer left and for those of you that still want to get in on the summer products, I have my top seven. So excuse the barking Westies and why we in the background and we'll get started. The first thing I want to talk about is by Revlon. All the YouTube gurus talk about the Revlon Color Stay Foundation, and I will say that that is my favorite foundation as well. But I think something that's been overlooked, I don't think I've seen anything about this, I've been Googling and looking through YouTube, is the Revlon Color Stay Active Foundation. If they say it's light makeup, it has an SPF of 25. I feel like it's much more coverage than light. It was This is definitely a medium coverage. It goes on, it's in a little squishy tube, and you just squeeze a little bit out. I apply it with my fingers. I've applied it with a stippling brush. Um, I like the finish either way. This holds up great. I live in a very high heat, high humidity climate. It doesn't melt off my face. It gives me the perfect coverage. I love that it has an added SPF 25, and this is my go-to foundation for summer. It's also great for traveling. It packs up, it's tiny. Love it. And I am in the color buff, buff chamois. My other favorite skin product for summer is by ELF, Eyes, Lips, Face. It's their golden bronzer palette. You can pick it up at Target. I think it's $3. There are four shades. I use all four. I use the uh, dark shade for contouring. I use one of the two top shades for my blush color and I use this light shade as my highlight. I adore this palette. Look at the shimmer on that. That's for the highlight. For me, this is just the right shade for my bronzer, my contouring. And then I take at the very end of when I do my makeup, I take my big fluffy brush, I swirl around and I just do all over. The coverage is great. I've even used just this one palette, sorry, I've used this for my eye makeup, I've used all four colors on my eyes, and then gone ahead to do the um, powder on my face as well. So great investment for $3. ELF Golden Bronzer Palette. My next new favorite thing, I just picked this up a couple days ago, um, it's by Prestige. It's called uh, the Waterproof Eyeliner Contour Pencil, I have it in black. There's a longwear version of this as well. The longwear says it's smudge proof and I did want something I could put on that I can work with and smudge a little bit before it's set. Um, I found out about this from Elaine. Um, I forgot her full screen name. I'll, I'll put it in the bottom underneath the description box. She did a little hand test of top her top five eyeliners. She did Urban Decay 24-7 in Zero, which was what I've been using. She did Max Smolder. She did a couple other ones and then she did this one and she came back at the end of the day and the only eyeliner that was still blacker than black and hadn't smudged and hadn't run off her hand was this Prestige. She did it in the long wearing. Um, like I said, this is the EW, which is the waterproof version. Um, it comes off, I use um, the L'Oreal Eye Makeup Remover and it comes off easy, there's no tugging and it hasn't smeared on me. I wore this yesterday at a baseball game in 100 degree heat and it was still on my face when I came home. So I love, love, love this product. My next favorite summer product is, it's an oldie, really old. It's called Psst. I swear, that's what it's called. Psst. There it is. Instant Spray Shampoo. This was the precursor to all the fancy dry shampoos they have on the market now. It says it's uh, unscented for normal to oily. It's just an aerosol, and I could use a little. I just spray it in, and I have pretty light hair, and I just work it in, and now my hair is a mess. But I found this, I think it's $4. I first heard about it in Allure magazine, and they're best of. I get it in the men's toiletry section at Walgreens. It's an oldie but a goodie. It smells a little... A little medicinal, but that wears off. It also feels good when it's hot. It's cold on your head, that aerosol. So I love this stuff. I, I haven't tried the Tresemme. I'm almost out of this, so maybe once I'm out, I'll try the Tresemme one. But for $4 at Walgreens, really can't go wrong. 
Then as far as lip glosses, I'm not a big fan of lipstick in the summer. I mentioned maybe earlier, I think in one of my videos, that in this heat, if you put a stick of lipstick in your purse, it's liquid when you get back inside. So I try to stick with the lip glosses. And this I just found by accident, again at Walgreens. I went up to the makeup counter to check out because the line was shorter. And I found this collection of lip glosses. I think they're $1.99 or $2.99. I happen to have two here. They're by um, In Color by Jordana. Pretty Shine Luxury Gloss. I don't know how luxurious they are, but I will say I have on Babe right now, which is this one. I don't know. I will do a swatch for you. It has a nice, really good pigment. Can you see there's gold shimmer in it? It's a great, I have it on now. They hold up well. This one is another fun one. I put this over my Lady Gaga. This is called Darling. It's a more of a hot pink. I don't know if you can see. They do shimmer. They don't. Uh, they have a nice little. They smell kind of bubble gummy, and um, the pigment's great for two ninety nine. They have so many shades: baby pinks. They have a bronze one that I wear a lot. Um, they have a bright coral, which is a great true coral. I'm not a coral person, so I actually give that to a friend of mine that it looks great on her. But I, for $2.99 or $1.99, I mean, they're just fabulous. And they're cute little packaging, and they fit in my purse. And my only complaint is I'm always losing them. But um, love these. The other, my favorite summer nail polish um, that I've been using a lot and I don't have on, I had on in one of my other videos, is... Um, this is by Sinful Colors, again, another Walgreens cosmetic counter find. And it's called Mint Apple. And I don't know if you can see all the little micro shimmer glitter. I don't know the terminology, but um, these colors, this line is fabulous. They're $1.99. Sometimes they're on sale for $0.99. Cents. They have a lot of fun, silly shades. Um, they dry extremely quickly. They, for me, do not chip um, at, at all. No worse than anything else. They hold up as well or better than my OPI. And um, you put one top coat of Sesh Vite on top of this and they will last you at least a week. So love, 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 love. This is in mint apple. Um, I love it. And then my last favorite thing for summer is my old standby. Again, another drugstore find. So for those of you who are trying to keep to a budget this summer, I think you'll find these Tips handy. This is by Banana Boat. It's their Sunless Tanner Self Tanning Lotion in Deep Dark Color. This is, um, I'm very fair, but I still use the Deep Dark Color. What I love about this is that I can use this on my face. I can use this on my body. It never streaks. Um, it doesn't make me break out on my face. It gives me a nice glow, even though it does come out pretty dark. It's natural. I don't have that orange cast. Um, I do smell like Sunless Tanner until I shower and then I'm fine. I don't have that odor. Um, it's quick and easy. You get, it's kind of gross right now, but it comes out in that pump. I just exfoliate in the shower and put it all over and in a couple of hours you're good to go. I will say I think they, the color payoff comes off pretty quickly. Um, I'm, I'm really pleased and my little summer tip is what I do is I go get a spray tan first and then I wait as long as I can, at least five hours, usually eight, before I shower. And, and then I shower and immediately put this all over. And my spray tan will last a good week if I follow with this um, immediately after the first shower and then every three to four days. You can, get a, you can stretch out a spray tan for quite some time. So those are my summer tips. I hope that you find some of these products helpful. If you've tried any of them and you'd like to tell me what your experience was, I would love to hear from you, whether it's a video response or a comment below. Remember to vote thumbs up for my videos and 